My name is Roman and um, this is Vitaly. Um, so I'm Vitaly is the co-founder of Retouch for Me and we develop um, AI powered plugins for retouching. And our plugins work as a standalone software or through Photoshop, Lightroom, Capture One. And we're here today to show you uh, what they can do, uh, how they can make your life easier and more fun. We have 12 plugins and I would like to demonstrate a couple of them. So let's start with the first one. So I make a copy of the layer and go to the filters, retouch for me, retouch for me, shell. Just wait a little bit. So if you want to retouch the image, you want to eliminate some little spots from the skin and this filter did it. And as you can see, I just run it. I don't use any of the controls here. I just run and so the, this is what I got. So before and after. And as you can see here, the texture of the skin didn't change. So it, it actually retouches the image. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's analyzing the image and actually doing that retouching for you, right? Yeah, yes. it does, it does. And, and, and what Vitaly was saying that uh, the, one of the main features of our plugins is that our plugins use a non-destructive approach to retouching. So whenever you're working with textures, all the textures remain intact. So they don't get blurred or like smoothed out. It basically, mm -hmm. it, it is the, the texture that you're working with. It stays in place. Wow. Now, and that's AI based? Yes. 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 Neural networks. That's yes. really slick. <laughs> this, this is the second plugin. It's called Retouch for Me Dodge and Burn. And it's okay. dodges and burns. So let's see the preview. So the white spots on the face became brighter and the blue ones became darker. If you tick here soft light layer, so you will have all the result on a neutral gray layer. So I, all I need to do is just to choose soft light blend mode here. And that's all. So before and oh, yeah, after. Look at that. Oh, just, yeah. 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 Just uh, check the amount of the details here and the precise work. Like here. Yeah, so, it's nice as keeping the textures. Yeah. So, yeah, here is the like original one and before and after <laughs> wow isn't it yeah that's yeah. crazy i like how it's, yeah, so, it's retaining the mm -hmm. detail and the textures so let me merge all images together and run the third plugin it's called retouch for me portrait volumes so this plugin increases the visual volume of your shot so i will show you how it works here is the preview and here is the before and after yeah so here you can just decrease the blend option or increase it like this. And also you can save the retouching Ooh. result on a neutral gray layer, just like this. And look at the mask. Oh gosh. <laughs> you know, I used to teach this. Uh, yeah. I used to, yeah. in so, fact, in one of my retouching books, I show how to do this, but it takes forever. Yes. Yeah. And yes, I can tell definitely. you, I've never made a mask that looked that good. I've never <laughs> had masks. That is the most detailed. <laughs> Dodging and I, I call that dodging and burning. So what you call dodging and burning before you were using as more of like using curves to. Yeah. So there's, there's a dodge and burning layer. Yeah. Cause there's two different <laughs> types of dodging and burning. When we talk about it, there's yes. dodging and burning that we think about to sculpt the face, which is what you just did where mm -hmm. you yep, accentuate yep. the shadows and you accentuate the highlights. And it's very popular in, in high end retouching. You see this done in magazines and stuff all yeah, the time, and it everywhere. does. It makes pretty much everybody look great. I mean, it is a very neat, yeah, sculpting you know, sculpting light is amazing. It's, yeah, it's sculpting really yeah. is what it is. It's, it yeah. it makes your your jawline stronger. It it sculpts the face, but I, it took it took a long time. Yeah, I mean, that and, was and a it long, took yeah. multiple layers. So when I used to do this, I would create a curves layer, right, and then I would mm -hmm. I would invert the layer, and then I would paint mm -hmm. over the highlights with the brush. And you also have to determine where the highlights are, where the shadows are and stuff. That was flipping amazing, what you just showed, because that did the thing that took me 20 minutes of photo in, in like 10 yeah. seconds. 10 it seconds. wasn't even 10 seconds. Yeah, not even. But the results are really good. I, I mean, I, I love the stuff you did removing spots and stuff, but that one right yeah. there, that right there. Well, that takes a long time. That's that, money. That, um, that is anytime money. Anytime we can save that much Holy time. Holy cow.
And it's money, money, and, and the, I would t say it's skills because uh, you need to spend a lot of time to practice to make Dutch and burn because without professional skills, you can make the image look even worse. So I will just merge the image together in separate layer and I will run the plugin, which is called Retouch for me and Skin Tone. So sometimes you can see like reddish tint on the face, on hands, so all our plugins uh, work all around the body and all around the whole frame. So, for example, if you have like a group shot, the plugin will retouch all of the people in the frame. Let me show you before and after four plugins, right? So this is the before oh. and after.